Hi everyone, welcome back to another mukbang. Today I will be making red wine marinated chicken with a variety of vegetables. So this is my first time making it, but it doesn't seem too complicated. But I will be looking at my little note right here. But it's really simple. Um, so if I can make it, if it comes out well, I'm you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can make it as well. So let's begin. Um, you need wine red wine this is like must have so we are going to get some vegetable oil and then we are going to stir fry the onions and then bell peppers so for chickens uh only prep you should be doing is cut them into your bite size or however you want it and then just marinate it in salt and pepper so it's sitting there. This is all jalapeno, about three jalapenos. I took all the seeds out. I totally forgot to wash my hands. So I was rubbing my eye and nose and just burning everywhere right now. So let's start with the onions. Oh no. Kinda separate them well. Uh, I want to just lightly salt it a little bit. Take them out. Let's reheat the pot. Just a little bit more oil. And then we are going to cook our bell peppers. I have red one and yellow one today. Um, I skipped on the green bell pepper because I'm going to be using my jalapeno. So. This one as well. Just add the salt. Okay, last step, we are going to add more oil and then we are going to finally add the chicken. So, let's just gently... Okay, so let's wait for one side of the chicken to cook. So while we're waiting, let's make the sauce. Okay. So we have some soy sauce. I feel like I might need a little more than this. I'm going to add just a little bit more soy sauce. Okay. And then we need some. So if you have any kind of like strawberry or like a apple jam you can use that but i don't have it so i'm going to just use the syrup i'm gonna just taste it first and then i want to add just a little bit more let's add the jalapenos maybe i need a bigger bowl so put all of those and let's add some, maybe two spoonful of vinegar. One, two. I'm gonna add about half cup of water. And then we are going to finally add the wine, red wine. So I have this kind of a pricey wine, Cabernet, uh, to use as cooking, but I just happen to have it. Um, so about half, a little over half cup, two thirds. Yeah, I'm gonna add about that much. Okay. Let 
these guys sit. So now that my chicken is halfway cooked, I'm going to add, mm, yeah, I'm going to add the sauce. And just let it really simmer, evaporate. Mm -mm. This kind of reminds me of this Chinese dish, um, but it's with pork, with pepper. But it comes with this like flour bun. I don't know. It's like really fluffy white bun. I I love that, and I couldn't have it for past eight months. But next time I go to Chinese place, I'm gonna get that. Okay, so I ha I still have a little bit of the sauce left, but I'm gonna just keep it to the side. So as you guys can see, it simmered very well. One thing that I, because it was my first time, I guess I wasn't able to kind of figure out how salty it was going to be. But I will definitely cut down the soy sauce to half. It's a little too salty for me. I don't know, some of, some of you guys might like it. But for me, my preference, it's a little bit salty. Um, I think it'll be okay eating with rice and especially I added these vegetables. Mm. And I didn't salt them that much. Um, they are still on the bland side which I'm glad because <laughs> it's a little salty for me. But, uh, but overall it's very very good. Um, I think it'll it's actually a really good um, thing to eat with like wine of course um but even kind of beer i think it'll work really really well even i think this is something i would bring at a party um definitely kind of potluck style kind of food um it's good it's definitely very flavorful I'm going to top it off with some sesame seeds to make it look pretty oh i am done with this bottle that is fine okay so i think that's it if you feel like it's not enough, if you want more flavor, def go ahead and add the leftover sauce. Anyways, I have some rice. And <laughs> Doesn't it look salty? <laughs> but the color is beautiful. I really like the color. It's really like tasty. Like kind of reminds me of carby, you know? But cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so good, good with the onions. Mmm. Mmm. Not to mention, because it was getting too salty, instead of adding water, I added like like not pinch but like drizzle of sugar mm, um it tastes really good i think even even if it wasn't as salty i think i would still add a little bit more sugar it's because i feel like that's how it should taste like mm. but i guess that's preference so next time I, next time i make it a little less salt, just a little bit, and like at least half tablespoon of sugar. Mm. You know that braised chicken jimtak? 
I feel like I should put wine in there, like red wine. Mm. That's what it reminds me of. I made a lot today because Tong's actually off today, so I need to feed him. <laughs> what a great idea. Next time I make yeah, I didn't talk. But it goes so with, well with these vegetables. I totally wouldn't mind some sliced garlic in here, like something toasted. Mm, my vacuum. By the way, my vacuum just fell, but I've been using my vacuum, um, I think Dyson V6, for maybe two years. It, it sucks. <laughs> I mean, Okay. It's a very va good vacuum, but it broke on me. Like, it doesn't charge. But it charges, but like, it keeps losing power, so I have to consistently like, plug it in, and then it works for like 30 seconds. Plug it in, and sometimes it works for like 5 minutes. Especially on my rugs, it does horrible. Wow, this is really good. I kind of have to eat it with the vegetables though. Should I mix it? Okay, let's mix it in. Oh, I feel like it doesn't look like anything anymore. I feel like this will be really good over a rice too.
Okay, so question of the day. Write about a memorable experience you had, you have had staying at a hotel. <laughs> so I actually read the question out loud, out loud when Tong was here this, um, earlier. Um, and <laughs> the first thing we thought about was, oh, it's not really a hotel. It was because you know, it was a motel. Um, but when we first started dating, so for a couple of months, Tong and I did long distance, and he visited me back at my uh, my school, my university. Um, he was staying overnight, and we decided to stay at a motel. Motel. And apparently, Tong had the best McDonald's. <laughs> Because, I mean, it was a lot of other good things uh, happening there, but I think that's when the McRibs was back for a little bit, too. He said he had the best McDonald's. It's probably because it was after a lot of, um, I don't know, exercise. <laughs> but that was the first thing. So I guess, I don't know. Hotel, like, we did, Tung and I really didn't, never really stayed at a hotel. It's usually like motel or Airbnb. And resorts. Uh, another good memorable experience was, um, when Tung and I shared, uh, the hotel slash resort with our other friend, couple friend. Um, now that I think about it, we sh we did that twice with the same couple, and one of our my favorite one was uh, when we went to Lake Tahoe. And the room was the room had two separate bedrooms. And the one that we stayed in have separate bathroom inside the room. So, and like their living area was very spacious. So we would hang out and all. But at the end of the day, we're in a two separate bedroom. So that was really fun. A new experience, you know? Mm. Another one, this is what actually Tong mentioned, he really liked um, the hotel we stayed in Paris, the last night of Paris, we stayed at a hotel because we wanted to stay close to the airport, but rest of the rest of the trip was in the Airbnb, and it wasn't the worst Airbnb, but it, it wasn't luxury, so the hotel wasn't really luxury either, but it's still a hotel. So compared to the Airbnb we stayed at in Paris, it was amazing. <laughs> so I think like we appreciated it more. We were just so relaxed and comfortable. It's probably why it was really memorable for us because um, they, you know, we went swimming and nobody was there. Um, And just the in-room service, just nice air. <laughs> Spacious. So back in Paris, Tung and I stayed two weeks 
in a, almost three weeks in an Airbnb. And that's because we were trying to save money. And we, we did stay there for three weeks. And imagine staying at a hotel for that long. You know, it's just so it's too, way too expensive. We probably would have never went to Paris. The question is, if we had the money to just spend at a, the best hotel, whatever, would, would we have? I think we would have a little more than a day. Maybe like first half, we stayed at any kind of Airbnb, whatever, it doesn't matter. But the other half, I think we would have stayed at a nice hotel. Because... You know, I love every experience, every moment we had at these Airbnb places, houses, apartments. It's so memorable. These apartments are so different from the places that we're used to. So, it definitely was memorable. And I wouldn't change anything for that. But, you know, towards the end of the trip, we were a little bit tired and we didn't want to, like, I don't know, we wanted a little bit more space. We wanted to relax more towards the end. I mean, staying at a hotel is nice. And the biggest reason why I would stay at a hotel in certain areas is purely for safety. But I, if I'm traveling, I would love to stay at a home, like a local home. Just to experience, get the full experience, you know? Because, like, you know the last night we stayed in Paris? It was because it was practical for us to stay next to the airport because we had an early flight. But I guess everybody has different values. But some people might think, I don't need those kind of experience. I want to just relax, have this luxury vacation. Which is like everybody's different. So good. The vegetables are really clutch for this recipe.
a good amount left. But oh, it burns. I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Okay guys, I am going to end the video here today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mukbang. If you guys did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Please. <laughs> and subscribe for more videos. Make sure to enter the giveaway. Check out the description box. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.